You'll find the mass transfer of records option available under data inside of the setup menu. And there's a lot of different types of records that you can transfer from one user to another listed at the top. And probably the most common use case for this mass transfer functionality would be the transfer of accounts. That would be if a salesperson or account rep, account manager is leaving the company and you're needing to transfer ownership from one user to another. It's as easy as transferring from and selecting the user that you're wanting to transfer records from and then transferring to the new account owner. And so I'm just transferring any accounts owned by the integration user. As an example, there's just limited number of users in this org over to myself. And then as well, during this transfer process, and depending on which object you've selected here, I've got accounts, you have the ability to transfer other things related to the accounts in this instance would be transferring open opportunities not owned by the existing account owner, transfer closed opportunities, transfer open cases owned by the existing account owner, and more transfer options here as well. Now one point of explanation here is that there are instances where the account owner is one person and then someone else owns an opportunity that belongs to that account. This is saying that although integration user owns this account and someone else other than Mike Wheeler owns an opportunity related to it, if I select this checkbox here, transfer open opportunities not owned by the existing user, which would be the one that's leaving the company, go ahead and transfer that over to this transfer to person, okay? Now you can set criteria as well so that you could filter down not only accounts owned by integration user, but you can also select only accounts owned by that departing user that belong to a certain country or state or or city for example so here i would be transferring integration user accounts over to myself but only for accounts that have a billing country of usa and so then we can find i'm probably not going to find anything here and there are no records to display because I don't think integration user owns any accounts. But if we were to invert this, I should be owning some accounts. Let's do this instead. We will transfer from myself over to another user account and I'll select integration user as being on the receiving end. And let me go ahead and remove any filters. So I just wanna go through the steps of transferring all accounts. I'm gonna find hopefully some accounts here. And here are many, and I can select the ones that I wish to transfer over, either selecting all by clicking the top checkbox or cherry picking and just selecting a few. And then whenever you're ready, uh, just go ahead and hit transfer. And if the user is able to own accounts, then that will succeed. And we've got our success message here that two accounts transferred. And also there's a note here that the maximum number of transferable accounts at one time is 250 as well. So as with all things Salesforce, there's always a limit. So that's how you mass transfer accounts and you can do the same with many of these other options as well. Little known functionality in the Salesforce platform, not something that's readily tested on the admin exam as far as I recall. It may find its way on the exam as well but it's helpful on the job. So if you found this Salesforce video and tip helpful, please do like, subscribe, and please do leave a comment down below of your thoughts or what you would like to learn next on Salesforce. And I might make it my next video. And until then, I'll see you in the cloud.